In central California, many small ranches sit in the hollows of the skirts of the Coast Range Mountains. Some the remnants of old and gradually disintegrating homesteads. Some the remains of Spanish grants. To one of them in the foothills to the west of Salinas Valley, the dawn comes, as it comes to a thousand others. Drop a fine coat. Be your ears, Tom. You're not clean just because you're wet. Morning, ma'am. Good 
Good morning, Billy. Well, we sure got a good day for it, Mr. Tiffin. Sit down, sit down, Billy. Got the cows ready to go? No, I could just as well take them in alone. Sure you could. You could take the auction in alone, too. But a man needs company, and I'd rather you had mine than the kind you pick up in town. Besides, your throat gets pretty dry. We'll start right after breakfast. May I go, sir? Billy. Is that boy doing his schoolwork the way he, the way he should? Is he? He spends too much time with Billy Buck. That won't hurt him. Billy's making a good rancher out of him. There's more to life than ranching. You'll have to convince Tom of that. And you. And your father. Can I help you any with the horses? Can I hold them for you? What's the matter with tying them up to the corral fence like I always do? All right, maybe you can help me some. Billy. Billy, would you lend me the clipping? What do you want it for? Well, I told the kids how Rosie won the stock horse finals in Sacramento, and they just laughed. Jinx Engels laughed first. But I've got the clipping to prove it. They said they didn't see the clipping. Uh, you just come with me. Who's that lady? Mm, oh, that's my cousin. Who's she? She's my cousin, too. I thought you said she was your cousin. Well, we're a big family. I don't believe it. I gotta believe you got both of them. Closing is too much. Wear it out. Ah, you kids. Stand on your heads and walk around in your head. There. This button's off. In a minute. Let it be, Fred. You know he can tell when anything's touched. He'll probably be in today. I guess I've had as much rest as I can expect. It's a good two weeks since I've had to listen to those stories of his. He's an old man. He talks about the things he remembers best. You talk yourself sometimes. Sure I do, but he only talks about one thing. Indians. Indians and crossing the plain. That's what. You get out of here, Mr. Big Britches. Go on now. It's time you started to school.
you get it? Did I get what? The clipping. Sure, it's in a ribbon, too. Let's see it if you've got it. Billy says. You know, Billy's bred her. She's going to have a coat. Maybe he might give the coat to me. Did Billy say he would? Well, not exactly. Then how do you know he will? I didn't say he will. I said maybe he will. Maybe he ain't getting. It cost him $25 just to breed her. That coat would be worth at least $150. Do you think he'd give you $150? No. Well, then why do you think he'd give you a $150 coat? Yeah, what makes you think that? Well, he might. Lights ain't getting these. Talk. I'm just gonna get some wood. Crossed him so last night, there was hardly enough to get breakfast. What did you learn in school today? A lot. That's good. There are other things to know besides ranching. If you bring another toad home in that lunch box, you'll go to school without lunch. Toad? I have to boil it out every day when you get through with it. When you fill the wood box, feed the chickens. Take my gun. I, I should have been here yesterday. Got held up by an old fool once start an argument. <laughs> all, the, all the folks well? They're fine, sir. I guess you got back just in time to go on a mouse hunt with me. Mouse hunt? After people of this generation took to hunt mice? 
I know they aren't very strong, but I never thought mice would satisfy them for game. <laughs> Maybe your father'd like to borrow my gun to shoot them with. No, sir. It's just play. The haystack's gone, and I'm going to drive the mice out to the dogs tomorrow. You can watch and even beat the hay a little. Oh, I see. You don't eat them, eh? You don't make clothes out of the pelts. I haven't come to that yet. The dogs eat them, sir. I guess it isn't much like hunting Indians. No. No, not much. But when the troops took to hunting Indians, killing the children, burning the teepees, that wasn't much different from your mouse hunt. They didn't give them a chance. Hey, you... You've grown, seems to me. You've grown. More than an eighth of an inch where they marked me on the door. I'm up an eighth of an inch since you left. I'll declare. How's your mother? Hi, Alice. Hello, Dad. Tom, put up the horse. I'm hungry. No, Alice, I don't have as good appetite as I used to. When we was crossing the plains, we all used to get so hungry every night, we'd eat up the buffalo meat before she got done. <laughs> Where's the school teacher? Fred will be back for supper. And don't mention buffalo at supper. We're having macaroni tonight. From Castroville to Soto, from Castroville to Soto, From Castroville to Sotoville is 30 miles. 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 Castroville to Sotoville is 30 miles. I'm hungry. Do you kind of like when we was crossing the plains? We used to get so hungry every night, couldn't hardly let the meat get done. I could eat five pounds of buffalo every night. Everybody could. Sit down, Alice. Grub's fine. Moving around does it, I guess. My father was a government packer. Used to help him when I was a kid. Two of us could just about clear up a deer hand. I knew your father, Billy. Good man. Used to call him Mule Tail Buck. Never did know why, except he packed mules. You, you ought to know if he had a tail, Billy. No, I, uh, that's why they call him that, because he packed mules. I remember one time we run out of meat. Thank you, Alice. There was no buffalo, no deer, no antelope, not even rabbits. Hunters couldn't even shoot a coyote. Thank you, Alice. That was the time for the leader to be on the watch. I was the leader. Kept my eyes open then, you know why? Party had to keep him from doing that. Not ready for our pudding. Well, I am a little hungry at that. Yep, I was the leader. I'll tell you some interesting things later. I wonder, did I tell you about the time the Paiutes drove off the 35 horses of ours? I kind of think you did. Wasn't it just before you got up to the Tahoe country? Yes, that's right. Yeah, I guess I did tell you. Well, anyway, you told it hundreds of times. We'd like to hear it again. How about the Indians in the horse? You wanted the wagons to carry along iron plates? Oh, 
you didn't, Grandfather. What did you want to use the iron plates for? I figured that if we put iron plates down to get behind... Well, Mr. Big Britches, are you coming? Yeah, now, if those plates had uh, holes in them, the men could stand them in front of go. They might need me. I've got an old uh, powder horn and a cap and ball. That reminds me of a pistol I had when I was leading the people across. It was a... Uh, whatever happened to that pistol? Maybe you'd better tell it when you go down to the bunkhouse. Billy has to go. Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Yours. He needs a good currying. Well, yes, he can bite all right. <laughs> Look out for him and... But you'll tell me what to do, won't you, Billy? Grandpa says you know everything about horses. I'm half horse myself. You know, my ma died when I was born. Being my old man didn't have any cows around, why, well, it mostly gave me mare's milk. I'm half horse and horses know it. Don't you, little fellow? You do like I tell you, you'll have the best horse in the country. When do you think I can ride him? Well, you're not very heavy around... Oh, say, Thanksgiving, maybe? Ah, uh, there isn't a saddle? Oh, I forgot. Come on. Of course, it's just a show saddle. It's not practical for the brush. It was cheap at the sale. Show saddle? From a circus? Well, I guess you could call it kind of a circus show. It'll look on him. Why don't you just call him Gabalin? That means more. That'd be a good name. You know, if you'll uh, collect tail hairs, I might find time to make your hair rope. You use it for a hackamore. Oh, sure. I'd train him for a hackamore. You wouldn't use a bit on a good horse like this. Could I lead him to school, do you think? To show the kids? What are you talking about? That pony isn't even hauler broke yet. Almost had to drag him here. Bring the kids to see him here. I'm here. for a long time. Maybe you want me to help you with it. Well, sometimes you can, but it's not a good thing to have too many people fooling around the horse. It's liable to get them all mixed up. I wouldn't fool around him. Let me curry him a little. He's been curried. I curried all that out of him this morning. Look at heels. He can kick and he can bite. He doesn't look like a mean one. Oh, he isn't mean. He's just got a lot of spirit. Why, when he drank this morning, he buried his nose clear up to the nostrils in the water trough. That's a good horse that does that. Oh. 
you. And brush the hide right off him. It's just a little place I missed. Why don't you braid his mane and tail? Or will sometime, some other time. <laughs> What are you doing out here so early? Well, I couldn't sleep anymore. You've got to tell me what to do. This pony's growing up. I've got to teach him now or it'll be too late. Well, I've got my chores to do first. Think he'll be too old by then? All right, Billy. I'll wait if you say to wait. to hold her breaking. That's hardest because it's first. We'll put the short hauler on it. What'll I do? Did you bring the carrot? It's fine. Now you coax him with the carrot and pull on the lead. He'll get the idea. Keep talking to him. He'll get the idea. Patience is the big thing. We don't want to force breaking. That takes out the spirit. You know, a horse has got to understand same as a man's got to understand. Let's get started. Good morning. Tom must have slept in the barn last night. Well, he might as well have. Come on, Gabaland. Come on, Gabaland. Come on, Gabaland. Please, Gabaland. Come on. See, I got a carrot for you. Come on. Please. Look, Look Gabaland. See? <laughs> He'll burn your hands again. Sit down, I'll do it. Alice, I thought I'd take a little time each day to show... Well, I gave it to him. I thought I should be the one to... We got started breaking Gabaland today. Do they, Billy? Grandpa says that Billy can talk to horses. He says they can understand. He has no time to go play with you. It won't take much of Billy's time. He's got to learn. He might as well learn right. Sit down, Billy. Grandpa says... Where is Grandpa, anyway? He's keeping everybody waiting for breakfast. Fussing. Well... He likes to take his time. You know how he polishes up his shoes and brushes off his clothes. I don't know. He likes it that way. Of course, a man who led a wagon train across the plains, he's too great a man to care how long he keeps his daughter at the stove. He has to be very careful how he looks because he led a wagon train across the plains. Don't do that, Fred. Please don't talk that way. Well, how many times do I have to listen to that story of the 35 horses, the iron plates? I've heard him tell how he led that bunch of people across the plains a thousand times. That is done. Why can't he forget it now it's done? Why does he have to tell about it over and over? He came across the plains. All right, now it's finished. Nobody wants to hear about it over and over and over. Morning. Did you hear what I said? I don't know what got into me, sir. I didn't mean it. I was just trying to be funny, I guess. Oh, I'm just trying to get right side up, huh? I'm not being mad. I don't mind what you said. Well, it might be true. 
Oh. I wouldn't mind that. It's not. I'm sorry I said any of it. No, oh, no, 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 don't be sorry. Maybe you're right. Crossing's finished. Maybe it ought to be forgotten now it's done. I'm going to work. You take your time, Billy. Excuse me, ma'am. Won't you tell me more, Father? Huh? Of course I will. I'll, I'll tell them. But only when I'm certain people want to hear them. That's the trouble. I never made sure. I like to hear them, sir. Of course you do. It's your, your little boy. It was a job for men. Now only little boys want to hear about it. Now that you want to come on a mouse hunt with me, I'll wait outside for you, sir. You can use my stick for those mice. I'll go make another one. May I, ma'am? Father? I uh, better not keep the boy waiting. It's gonna be hard staying here, feeling like I do. As though the crossing wasn't worth doing. If you'd like to tell the story, Grandpa, I'll listen. Oh, I... I tell those story people to feel when I tell them. It wasn't the engines that was important, or adventures, and the land. It wasn't even getting out here. It was a whole bunch of people made into one big, crawling beast. It was Western and Western. Where every man there wanted something for himself, but the big beast that was all of them wanted only Western. We carried life out here, set it down and planted it the way ants carry eggs, and I was the leader. The Western was big as God, and the slow steps that made up the movement piled up and piled up until the continent was crossed. Then we come down to the sea, and uh, I ought to be telling instead of the stories. Stories ain't what I want to say. Maybe I could lead the people someday. No, there's, there's no place to go. There's an ocean to stop you. And there's a line of old men along the shore hating the ocean because that stopped them. In boats I might, sir. No, Thomas, there's no place to go. Every place is taken. Now, that isn't the worst. No, that isn't the worst. 
Western has died out of the people. Western isn't a hunger anymore. It's finished. Your father's right. It's all done. If you would like a glass of lemonade, I could make it for you. No, I don't. I don't. Yes, it would be nice. Lemonade? Would be nice. I've been thinking about that homecoming. I would like for us to go to San Jose. We could catch the afternoon train. Homecoming. Bit. You could do some shopping. What's the matter? Don't run away, Fred. I'm not running away. In your mind, you are. In your mind, you've been running back to San Jose ever since we... Alice, I didn't mean what I said about your father. People here look upon you as a stranger. Well, they... I don't suppose there's a man in this whole county knows my first name. It's Mr. Tiflin this, Mr. Tiflin that, never Fred. Everywhere I go, it's Mr. Tiflin. After all these years, I'm still a stranger. That's true. But are you sure it isn't the way you want it? Do I want to be a stranger to my own son? Are you? I think so. They should go to San Jose. Maybe you can think things out clearer. You won't come? No. Someone has to watch things. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'd better go alone. Whip and he'll follow. Pull his tail. Push him. Light a fire under him. Wait till I get a stick. I'll make him move. Until you get back. No, I told you before, too many people fooling around the horse get it mixed up. You can open the gate for me. I'm going up to San Jose. You going to the train? See that you don't let the pony get in the way of your chores. Are you school leader? If you do, I'll have to take you in hand when I get back. Yes, sir.
That piece don't sound quite right, Alice. It is. Seems to me you and Fred used to play that uh, four-handed, didn't you? Oh, it was louder that way. Grandfather, sir, how do you spell chrysanthemum? What a nice flower. It is. Chrysanthemum? I know it is, but how do you spell it? Your father's the one who ought to help you with your lessons. Soon. How do you spell chrysanthemum? C-H-R-Y-S-A-N-T-H-E-M-U-M. C-H-R-R... Don't you think you ought to learn to use a dictionary instead of asking people questions? Father says it's good to ask questions. I never used a dictionary when he was home. You're tired. Go to bed. Must I, ma'am? Do you want to do more lessons? Good night, ma'am. Really, Father? <laughs> You're right, Alice. You're right. I do. And nothing I have done that I don't know could be done better. But I don't do anything about it. Alice, how did you spell chrysanthemum? Good night, ma'am. Father, sir. What are you for Billy in the morning? Would you like to come and see? What for? Well, nobody's seen me work him on the long halter yet. Oh, 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 yes, I see. Sure, I'll come down. Just let me know. I'll come down. Job. I don't know about that door opening, though. All right, let's see how far you've gone with that long shank. Whoa! Come on, Gabalan.
Well, that's good. He likes it. You can tell he likes it. See how the ears are forward? When he's mad, his ears stick back. And when he's scared, his ears are out sideways. You can tell just how he feels about everything by the way his ears are. Even when he's mad. You're learning, aren't you, Tom? Sometimes he laughs. He just sits back and laughs. When he bit me on the seat of the pants, he laughed. And when he stamped on my foot, he laughed. Well, you're getting him pretty well under control. He's awful good on that long line. He's almost too good. Getting to me almost like a trick pony. I don't like trick horses. Takes all the dignity out of a horse, make him do tricks. Gets to be almost like a actor. No dignity. No character of his own. You've got to teach him control. That's not a trick. That looks like tricks to me. Hadn't you better be getting him used to the saddle pretty soon? Can I saddle him up now? You better hurry. Your mother's already rung for breakfast. When's Mr. Tiflin coming back? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, now, let's see that. Yeah. Tight. I put my hand under it, and it was good and tight. <laughs> yeah, looks like he learned more than you have. He took a good deep breath while you were cinched him, and just soon as you stopped, he just let her out. You gotta at least be as smart as the horse, you know. That's right. Uh, when are you gonna ride him, Thomas? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving morning. Stop raining. Yeah. Maybe I better let Gavilan out into the corral before I go to school. Tom? I guess I forgot it, ma'am. If you forget it once more, I'll let you go without it. Don't let him near that pony, Billy. He'll be late for school again. Yes, ma'am. I'll let it wear time. It'll be good for you. What if it comes on to rain? It's not likely to rain anymore today. It's rained itself out. If it comes on to rain, a little rain won't hurt a horse. Well, if it does come on to rain, you'll put him in, won't you, Billy? I'm scared he might get a cold. Thanksgiving's only a week off. Oh, sure, I'll watch out for him. But it won't rain anymore today. But, Billy... Oh, go on to school. You'll be late. Thomas, do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You don't hear me even now. 
I do, ma'am. Well, then answer me when I speak to you. Now, go to the board and add those figures. Yes, ma'am. this time of the year. You can't always tell exactly. You said it wouldn't rain. You got so through. Oh, a little rain never hurt a horse. Don't look too chipper. She's got a little fever. We'll get that out of him. You run in the house and get a kettle of hot water. I'll give him some warm mash. We'll rub him down and blanket him and he'll be all right in the morning. Well, go on. What are you doing home so early? I was worried about the pony. What will your father say when he finds out you played hooky because you were afraid the pony might get wet? How do you think you'll ever learn anything if you do things like that? You're getting too thoughtless. Maybe a little punishment will help you learn. Maybe you better not ride that pony for another month. Maybe then you won't cut school just because you worry a little bit. Where's that kettle up? Well, the pony got out somewhere and got wet, ma'am. I thought I'd make him up some hot mash. A horse isn't a lap dog, Billy. Don't you think you're coddling that pony too much? Well, he's got kind of a cough, Mrs. Tiffin. Suppose he has. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Better sit down here, young man. Time we checked up on you. I'd like to hear you read. The elephant is the largest animal we see in the jungle. His home is in India. And there he is used for many kinds of work. Oh. 
Why don't you put him to bed? I... What do you think you're doing? Billy's going to steam the pony. He's awful sick. You'll be sick yourself if you don't quit hopping in and out of bed like this. Put that kettle back where you got it. Your mother told you Billy can take care of your pony. Tom. Run along. Take care of your pony. I'm glad you did that, Alice. I can take care of his own horse. Thirty-five cents, please. Alice. I caught the first train out. Fred. Tom's pony's very sick. And if Billy can't get him well, I thought it would help if you were here. Hello, Alice. If anything happens, we can always get him another horse. Don't you remember me? I never had a pony. Tom will be glad to see you. I've missed him. I spoke to my brother, Dean. His business is humming. He asked me to come in with him. your help. I should have fixed this fence before I left. I've seen horses get well when they were worse than this.
look pretty good. I'm gonna open up that lump and then it'll be better. feel better. The poison makes him awful sick. He's still awful sick. Yes, he is. If I've had worse than to get well, I'll pull him through. I know you will, Billy. If you say you will. You sit. I've got something to do. I'll be right back. It's a nice collection you got there, sir. Oh, <laughs> blood. What kind of blood? Blood. Well, I don't want to talk about it. What do you want? Sit down. No, no, not there. In the camps, Billy. One thing a minute. Sit over there. I'd like to talk. It's about the pony, ma'am. I did put that pony in the barn that day when it was raining. Oh, Tom, he doesn't believe I put that pony in. What difference does that make? Whether he believes it or not, if you did. Well, I just don't like him not believing it. The pony's bad. I just opened that lump. Strangles, isn't it? Yeah. Getting so he can't hardly breathe. Well, you steamed him and you opened the lump. Now if he gets any worse, there's only one thing else. You'll have to make a hole in his windpipe so he can breathe. Yeah, I know. Did you ever do it? Yeah, a couple of times. Well, that's all you can do. When do you think you'll have to? Well, I thought I'd wait till tomorrow. He might get better, I wouldn't have to do it, maybe. If you have to. That's everything you can do. Then either he gets well or he don't get well. It's out of your hands. Thank you. See, I know that. I just wanted to know if somebody else knew it. Bill is not himself. Not a man to be in doubt. Well, he's finding out that there's some things even he can't do. Well, fix that chair. you won't want to see. You're not going to shoot him. No. No, I'm going to make a little hole in his windpipe and put this tube through it so he can breathe. You sure you got to do it? I'm sure. You can help me if it won't make you sick, that is. I'll help. Why don't you run along to the barn? I'll be right there.
you been? He's worse, isn't he, Billy? You been? You couldn't wait a little, could you wait just a little while? What for? Better to do it right now. Now I know where you've been. Yes, sir. Like I told you, there's only one thing left. When did you? Oh, uh, Billy come to see me yesterday. Uh, well, Billy's right, son. We gotta do it. You still wanna stay? Hand me the razor, Tom. Now watch that tube off. Beautiful bird, Alice. Sit down. Come in, Billy. Sit down. Oh, well, hello, Billy. How is it? Well, it doesn't look like there's much chance. Of course, there is a chance. Don't you think we ought to get Tom out of there? You think we ought to let him stay around and see it? I don't know. But we can't protect him. I was wondering about it myself. What's good to see and not to see, and think and not to think? See everything and think everything. Sure. You can't know life unless you see death. It's all part of one thing. We can't protect him from it. It's all part of one thing. Might as well learn about it now.
I didn't kill your pony. Don't you know that? Of course he knows it. Use your head, man. Can't you see how he'd feel about it? I know how it is. You hurt? You know, I'm not gonna give you Rosie's coat. You'll have a good coat. It'll be a big horse, you know. Studs are thoroughbred to race on. Pretty good, too. Oh, it ought to be a good coat. Now, the thing about getting a coat so young is you can just grow up with it and you. Another pony. You mean you don't go give me his new colt if I want it? But I don't. Are you gonna start that again? Billy Buck's only gonna give him his own colt. He's only gonna give him a colt worth a hundred dollars. I bet Billy Buck's gonna give him a railroad train. Sure, Billy Buck's gonna give him a whole circus, but he don't want it. He's getting to be an awful liar. He's getting to be a terrible liar. Come on, kid. Rosie. You could have it. I mean, I really want it. All right. And I want to be there when it gets born. No reason why you shouldn't be.
Billy doing calling his mayor in the middle of the night? I don't know. Rosie must be a pal, and I'm up. I wouldn't mind a cup of coffee. I'll make some. Ready, Billy? Just about in time, isn't you? I had a dream. I dreamed the colt was turned wrong. You know, he dreamed one time his horse slipped and fell over a cliff with him, and it did. Next day. Killed him. set for? Got to get that boy a coat. You wouldn't kill your mare to get the coat, would you? Got to get that boy a coat. You'd be crazy. You've got a good mare there. You don't know what kind of coat it'll be. Got to get that boy a Crazy, but suit yourself, it's your mare. What are you doing here? You said you'd call me. I said I'd call you and I will when the time comes. Is she all right, do you think? Oh, sure, I think so. You won't let anything happen, Billy, will you? Will you get back to bed and stop worrying this mare? She's got enough to do without you worrying her. But I only thought I'd come and see. I waked up. Yeah, you get back to bed. I don't want you bothering. I said I'd get you a good coat, and I will. Now, you run along. I'll take care of everything. But the pony died. Sorry we woke you. There was no need for you to get up. Billy says after what happened to that pony, he just got to get the boy a coat, even if you have to kill the mare. He shouldn't do that. Well, Billy feels that he and Tom have been pulled in different directions. He's right. You can't get anywhere that way. I remember when I was leading the whole big bunch of them wanted to go to the south. Now, the rest of them want to go to the north. Well, <laughs> I soon straighten that out. <laughs> Donna party broke up the same way. Now, those that went to the south, they got... they got through. Those that went to the north, they... Well, they just ate each other up. I hope Tom gets his colt without any trouble. It's time things got straightened out. Who's your anxious to get to San Jose? No, Alice, I'm home. I'm staying home. Are you sure you're home? Yes. I thought things over in San Jose, and I've thought them over since I got back here. It isn't where you are that makes you a stranger, makes you one. I was a stranger in San Jose. Welcome home.
I'll get that knife if I have to shake you your brains. You want to kill Rosie? I won't get... Billy! She took my knife. You want to kill I Rosie? I may need it for my mare. He wants to kill Rosie. Don't let him. Stop him! Stop him! Let him! Stop him! Come back here! 